change. It's a good thing. Hey everyone, welcome to Kim Yetta Connects and I am your host, Kim Yetta. This is the place where we learn how to live free by faith and always on fire for Jesus Christ. If you are not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when videos come out, which will now be every Tuesday and Thursday, God willing. Now, as you saw in the quick introduction, I talked about change or briefly mentioned change and why it's a good thing. Well, first of all, I was reading something really interesting in Galatians chapter two. It is a quite a long passage, so read it in your, um, in your spare time. But I will tell you the gist of it. Uh, it is when the Apostle Paul really admonishes Peter because Peter begins to mix Jewish customs with the gospel as he began to kind of follow the way of the Jews. And so Paul pretty much just went off on him. It's an excellent passage. And Paul basically said, look, if, if, if your salvation and your righteousness is based solely, solely on law, then Christ died for nothing. Now, what does that have to do about change? Um, I love change, I love it. Maybe it's the fact that I'm an A-type personality, but the reason I love change is because I know, although Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, I do know that he takes us from glory to glory to glory. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ and you're doing and acting and behaving in the same way you did when you got saved, or you're going through um, doing the same old stuff, you used to get offended when you first got saved and you still get offended, then you need to change. You, you get upset with your husband about the same things from when you first got married 10 years ago then you'll need to change. Or uh, you're still struggling with certain sin tendencies. Then Jesus has provided a way to change. The Bible says so clearly when you read Matthew, um, when you read Galatians, when you read Galatians, be sure to check out Romans 12, 1 and 2. It tells us, it tells us we can change by renewing, renewing our minds. That's actually one of the reasons why I devote so much time to attempting to memorize scripture because I know I've got to change. I don't want to stay the same Kim Yetta on the inside and out. I want to be the best version of Kim Yetta. I want to be the Kim Yetta that God intended for me to be. What about you? Are you still doing the same things? Did you say a year ago you were going to start your business? Or did you say a year ago you know, uh, you were going to get in touch with some people that you cared about and lost touch with. Did you say five years ago, you were going to clean up that basement with all the dirty stuff in it, whatever it is, the Holy Spirit is on the inside of you, my friends. Think about it. The Bible says the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in me and is in you. Hallelujah. That means you can change. You don't have to stay the same. Get into the word, pray, constantly seek God. God, what is it in me that you want to change? That's literally my prayer like every single day. God, change me. Make me more and more into the image of Christ. I want to be that. I want to I want to glorify you. My husband and I were talking the other day and we were talking about some big things that God is doing in our lives. And we said, you know, it's not even for us. When God blesses us, it's for other people. But in order to walk in that, we've got to change. So as I'm speaking, where is God, God piercing your heart? What do you need to change? Please note that I am praying for you if you're watching this. Um, do what you've got to do to change. You have the power in you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>